It has come to an end, the worldwide celebration, and now we are getting teasers on both versions of Dokkan, the next Dokkan Fest that you'll be able to summon for, and of course, the celebration for that. So we're going to cover all of that in today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy. We have information for Turles. We have information for the JP side, which is Android 17 and 18 from the Tournament of Power arc and much more. So let's jump into things. First of all, we're going to go into global stuff. Since we've already covered it through JP, we shouldn't expect anything new here. All global has done is drop the information for physical Turles. I recommend you guys skipping as this is not really worth your Dragonstones. You probably don't even have Dragonstones after the Worldwide Celebration. Save up for at least GT Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. It's probably the next best thing that's coming out within the few months. Unless Dragon Ball Heroes hits it out of the park with their units. Right now, Physical Turles doesn't really have a spot in these types of content. He's just a really fun unit. That's all I can say. Of course, with Turles, you get the side units which is Almond and Raisin, as well as Dyers and Cacao. We've already gone through the details, so I'm not going to go and talk about them. If, but if you want to use Turles, you definitely want these boys right here. Then we have the English animations. So let's have a look at this. All right, nothing's new. Obviously, they don't have any speech, any voice acting. We're just here for that Turles intro and active skill. This part's cool. Alright, now it's Turles. I haven't heard Turles' English voice in so long. A Saiyan? He is a real one. <laughs> Let's go. I like it. I like it. Although I haven't watched the Turles movie in so long. His animation is still decent. <laughs> you know what this is? A moon. Man, this is why he's my favorite villain. He's so sick. Now, let me see your true form. Fortunately, the actor skill, <laughs> the actual attack is kind of mid. And then the only other bit of information that we got is that you're getting stage 69 of Super Battle Road. Very nice, which is powerful comeback which is not that hard of a super battle road. So based on what JP got when they got Turles, you're going to probably get Prime Battle Dr. Wheeler. It makes the most sense since this is a movie bosses thing. You got the Dragon Ball Stories update, which gets you the free-to-play STR Turles, which again is not too great, but you might as well awaken him. And if you pull Turles, you can use him as a farmable SA unit. And then the EZAs for some of the Turles movie units. The AGL Great Ape Turles, which is great. Definitely a must-need if you're running with the uh, physical Turles. And then this physical nuking Goku, I think. Some other things I assume will also come into play is the um, GoBros EZA. They're actually really nice. Really like them. And then we obviously have Part 2 Celebration, which will be the Spirit Bomb Goku which I haven't seen anybody use after his initial release, to be honest. Um, and Super Strike Vegeta, which is low-key a banger free-to-play unit. Petum Battle, Burst Mode. Um, this event right here, which is not too difficult. I have a full guide on that as well. We might be getting a World Tournament as well on the global side. I wonder if both versions will get a World Tournament this month. It's been two months. They, I think they release a World Tournament every two months now these days. And this is what the lineup is if Global does get the World Tournament. My favorite out of those is definitely the Demon King Piccolo. He's actually very fun to use. Now on to the good stuff. We have the JP side. So this is new territory now. Let's cover what is getting in the celebration. So starting off, a new Doken Awakening on a story event. And it's going to be Android 17. Finally, this is huge. Finally, Tournament Power buffs, 
an AGL 18. Thank God. Can't wait to see what they do in tomorrow's video. They will have a data download tomorrow. And then a new stage will appear in the GT EZA. Wow. <laughs> This was supposed to be... Like, I wanted these guys to easier when Super 17 dropped. <laughs> but I will take that. I guess it's not... I guess it's more focused on the Android 17, 18 part. But that is very cool. That is definitely very, very cool. Also, a new DB story, which has a free-to-play Krillin. Okay. All right. There's actually a lot of free-to-play stuff dropping. I love that. So that is it. And then we get the Doken Awakening for the Goku. I thought they almost forgot about him, but he's here. And we even get an additional Krill. I wonder if he's going to be an LR. That would be interesting. And it's very unique because it's Krillin Boyhood. There's not really... if any, There's like no Krillin Boyhood or youth ever. So if he continues to stay like that, he might be very strong. And then, of course, I mean, I, I went out of order, but obviously these guys are Doken Awakening. And it looks like they are also going to awaken the Trunks here. But this is very late into the month here. It says on the 11th of October, we'll be able to get the uh, Trunks medals with the Incredible Gems. So later on, I assume in the celebration, the next day to download after the initial one, We'll probably have the details of what this Trunks is going to be doing. Remember, he's also an LR as well. So you might be wondering, what is Dokkan Fest 17 and 18 going to be like? Well, here is the card art. Tiwa. Goku's in the back. Interesting. And I do have the details for you guys. I just want you to know that this is their art. And it looks like these guys, I don't even know from what they're, what universe they're from. But they are going to also be a side unit. Very, very interesting. All right. And now for the animations. Here we go. Let's see if they put any effort into it. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Did I skip this episode? I feel like I didn't even remember this. Alright, here it is. OC gone crazy. Aging's <laughs> like, can you just shut up? <laughs> that is cute. Alright, let's see what their attacks are like. I wonder where Goku fits in this. Alright, it's pretty casual so far. That's a pretty cool shot. Where does Goku fit in this? I wonder. Active skill? Why does 17 have too much swag, man? Oh, I wonder what that is. That might be the active skill. Unit super attack, maybe? As well? Yep, there's Goku. Goku looks funky. Oh, that's a cool sprite, though. Yo, wait. That Kamamea kind of looked better than, like, Vegeta Blue's Kamamea. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the animations. So, let's go into their details now. Alright, so this is Android 17 and 18's details. Tournament participants. I think this is a new category. Siblings bond, 3 key, 170%, with an additional 30% if they're in representatives of Universe 7 or joint forces category. This, if this is a new category, this might be very interesting if it fuses like the World Tournament as well as, you know, the Universe Survival Saga. Very, very interesting. Don't know how crazy good that would be, though. SA is greatly raised attack defense for one turn, immense damage to the enemy. The unit SA is massively, wow, that's huge. Causes immense damage and attack and defense 35% to all other allies for two turns. They're a great first slot unit. This might be huge. Uh, the, the condition is when there is a Goku attacking in the same turn. So that might be the issue. The only issue is obviously Goku will not link up with androids all too well. It is tournament power. So they will get like, you know, the tournament power link set. Fierce battle, obviously. And not to mention there's only literally one good Goku tournament power unit. Uh, passive, when this character appears, 
with another universe seven unit entrance animation plays randomly changes non-int key spheres to rainbow attack a plus 170 percent defense 180 percent an additional attack defense 50 percent and damage reduction 35 percent when launching a super that's pretty good an additional attack plus 50 percent and high chance for attack to be critical hits when seven or more key spheres are obtained two key and attack defense plus 35 percent to all tournament participant category allies an additional key plus one 17 percent attack defense plus 18 percent when seven or more key spheres are obtained for C super attacks an additional attack plus 59 percent when launching a super attack if there is a character named goku attacking the same turn Ooh, that is good love foreseeing very easy condition for the most part very very nice so here's the active skill it changes tech key spheres to int uh, from turn 5 since from the start of the battle. And HP is 78% or lower. Up to 8 times? Up to 8 times? Really? You can just like spam that shit? <laughs> I don't know what that... That's crazy if that is actually true. And then we have the trio unit. Which is called um, Zerloin, Zabuto, and Rabanra. I, I, like I said, I don't remember them at all. Uh, their power wishes category uh, for three key and 130% stat boost. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Key plus two attack defense 50% per power wishes or tournament participant category allies in the team. Plus additional attack and defense 100% when performing a super attack and launches additional attack. There's a high chance of becoming a super attack when there is another power wishes category ally attacking the same turn. Attack effective against all types when there is another tournament participants category ally attacking the same turn. And starting from the fourth turn, disable the attacked enemy's action once within the turn once only. Mm, doesn't seem too crazy to me. You get 350% attack and defense at the start of the turn if you run the double, if you run, run full team of one of the categories. But no greatly raised defense seems uh, bad. At least it gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super. And also the link set is not the greatest too. And one last thing that I didn't get to mention in a video yet is that Ella Goku Black is still EZA. Um, JP released the info. So I think it's going to mix in with the 17 and 18 celebration. Uh, if you want to know the details, here it is. Future Cycle Lead for 4 key and 150% and Extreme Int for 4 key and 100% greatly raises defense. Uh, for 12 key, greatly raised attack and defense for the ultra super attack. 3 key and attack defense 160%. Plus additional attack defense 8% each time key raises by 1, up to 160%. Then key 3, when key is 18 or more, launches additional super attack when key is 22 or more. Key plus 6 and high chance of performing a critical hit for the rest of the battle after delivering the final blow. That's not too big of an issue. Recovers 6% HP when HP is 66% or above. Recover 6% HP at the end of the turn in which the attack was received. I don't think it's too bad. Not the worst EZA ever. He gets a decent amount of defense. You definitely don't put him in the first slot though. And because he gets that additional guaranteed, it's actually pretty nice. And this is his uh, rage form or whatever it's called. Key plus 6 receives an additional 2 key per key sphere obtained. Attacks effective against all types. Massively raises attack on the 18 key. And 12 key is greatly raise attack. That This, I do not know how strong this is going to be. But that's going to wrap things up here. I'm super excited for the tournament power buffs. I've always wanted tournament power buffs for the longest now. And knowing that they're free to play buffs to that, that is huge. I'm super excited. Let me know if you guys are. Low key more than the worldwide celebration. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out. My webcam comes in tomorrow as well, which is dope.